The same helicopter picked up first astronaut Alan Shepard and then his Freedom 7 spacecraft. It delivered the spacecraft back to the deck of the carrier and finally landed to unload the free world's first spaceman. He received a well done from the president, acknowledging for free men everywhere their gratitude. Possible psychological factors resulting from the effects of weightlessness were discussed during the post-flight debriefing. After the preliminary checkup, the astronaut underwent three days of rigid testing and mental checks at the Grand Bahama facility. No ill effects from the flight were found. And no modifications in the Mercury spacecraft were recommended by the pilot of this first space flight. All systems performed as expected in the MR3 mission. Now, additional Mercury suborbital flights were scheduled. As of this time, training for the astronauts in the stress devices is continuing. Through the continued research and development, training and practice tests, and data analysis of both launch vehicle and spacecraft recovered from space flights, major milestones in Project Mercury are expected in the near future. Hello and welcome to Kennedy Space Center, NASA's home for launching humans into space. I'm John Coward, an engineer who works out here at the Space Center. What I want to talk to you a little bit today in this program is the wildlife here at Kennedy Space Center, and then we'll talk quite a bit about how we get shuttles ready to go fly and launch those humans into space.